Good morning, Grade 1 class. Welcome to another recorded video for our English one. So for today's activity in our language, let's talk about pronouncing words beginning with B and V and F and P sounds found in Rainbows, page 253. Okay? So, I want you to identify the names of the following pictures that I will be showing you, okay? Plus, pronounce it correctly. What is this one? This one is a puppy with the sound of letter P. Puppy, okay? How about this one? This one is four, yes. That is four with the sound of letter F. Four. Next. This one is a fan. Yes, a fan with the sound of letter. What letter is this? F. Fan. Next picture is what? What is this? Yes, it is a vest. A vest with the sound of letter V. A vest. This one is a... What? What is this? Yes, it is a van. Okay, also with the sound of letter V, van. And the last one that we have here is, this is a bird with the sound of B, a bird. Okay, so do not forget, don't, don't interchange the sound of the letters. Just keep on practicing. Now, let's try to recite some rhymes that will enhance our uh capabilities in pronouncing B, V, F, and P. Still found in your rainbows, page 253. So you, re you uh, repeat the rhymes that I'm going to read out to you. Fly, fly, Mr. Butterfly, from a flower up to the blue sky. Your turn. Ready? Go. Fly, fly. Mr. Butterfly from a flower up to the blue sky. Very good. Okay, now let's try another one, number two. Oh, yeah, this one is a bit longer. Betty Butter bought a pack of butter and a pack of biscuits and gave them to Peter. Okay, try this one. Ready? Go. Betty Butter bought a pack of butter and a pack of biscuits and gave them to Peter. Very good. Last one. Arf, arf, arf barked the little puppy. Bow, wow, wow barked the big doggy. Your turn. Ready, go. Arf, arf, arf. Barked the little puppy. Bow, wow, wow. Barked the big doggy. Okay, so that's it for today in our language. Now, in our grammar lesson, we talked about the ing form of the verbs. And I gave you three rules for this lesson. Rule number one, we said that we add ing to verbs ending in consonant letters. So this is the be, no, the most basic of all the rules. Like read becomes reading, sing becomes singing. Rule number two, if the verb ends in letter e, drop the e and add ing. Remember when we say drop the e, uh, it means tatanggalin natin. Okay? For example, write to writing. So, inalisin letter E, pinalitan ng ING. Recite to reciting. Ganon din. Tinanggal ang E, pinalitan ng ING. Okay? For the third rule, if the verb ends in a vowel and con that's the consonant, uh, children. Consonant, double, uh, double the last letter and add ING. Kapag yung verb nag end siya sa vowel and consonant sa dulo, okay, saka tayo nagdo-double ng last letter, then add ING. Normally, nangyayari ito sa mga three-letter verbs, eh, no? Para new one. For example, drop, it ends with OP, becomes dropping, and skip, which becomes skipping, okay? 
So for your activity today, I want you to answer page 182 of your debug and page uh, 182 to 185 of your debug, then 185 to 186 channel. Okay? So you have to submit these activities in your uh, Google Classroom. Okay? So goodbye, grade one.